Friends, do not play with a Ouija board. When you play with a Ouija board, you are playing with demons. Hi, this is Doug Batchelor, and I just saw a news report today that talked about in Colombia, 28 schoolgirls were hospitalized with anxiety attacks after allegedly playing with Ouija boards in their school in Colombia. The girls reportedly suffered signs of fainting, anxiety, and other symptoms at the Galeras Educational Center in Galeras, Colombia. The girls were admitted to a hospital by parents and teachers, and the teachers said it wasn't due to low blood sugar. This is not the first time. In November 2022, 11 teenagers were found collapsed after using a Ouija board at another school in Colombia. And in case you're not aware of it, a Ouija board is a, a device, it's a board. It's not a game, though. It's owned by the Hasbro Toy Company, but it's not a game. It's designed to communicate with the spirit world. According to Smithsonian Magazine, the Ouija board stems from spiritualism, a belief that the dead can communicate with the living. And that is very dangerous. It's a board, it's got a little planchette, and participants put their fingers lightly on this. And friends, I'm telling you this because I'm speaking from experience. We did this in our home growing up. I've got a friend that was involved in some of these things, and he locked himself in the garage and turned on the car and committed suicide. He was young and he was healthy and just got mixed up in the demon world. Don't do this. Um, so people put their fingers on this and it's got the, the letters and the numbers on it and it's got a yes and a no in case you ask yes or no questions. And you supposedly, you ask the spirits or the, some particular dead person to give you information and then this thing ostensibly moves by itself and it starts spelling things out. And uh, ultimately it'll go down and say goodbye. That means your session's over. When you begin, it says hello. It means you've contacted the dead. You know, this is very dangerous because, first of all, the dead are dead. So when people are communicating with these spirits, they're not talking to dead people or ghosts. The Bible says they're communicating with fallen angels that are better known as demons or devils. You read in Revelation chapter 16, verse 14, for they are the spirits of demons performing signs that go out to the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day almighty. You may remember the story from 1 Samuel where King Saul turned away from God and he went to a witch and he consulted a witch who was talking to the dead and he went to a battle the next day and he died. And it tells us in 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 9, the coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. 2 Chronicles 18, verse 21. So he said, I'll go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. These demons are lying spirits. They can perform false signs and wonders, and we shouldn't be involved in that at all. Now, God's spirit's very real. He's out in the world. And when we pray, God's spirit and through his angels will speak to us, they'll encourage, they'll nudge, they'll answer our prayers. There's also a devil and fallen angels. And when you start doing things like using Ouija boards and having seances and trying to communicate with the dead, you are inviting that power and influence to act in your life. It's almost like praying to the devil. So for young people or anyone out there, take it from someone who knows and has learned the hard way. Do not play with Ouija boards. You're playing with the devil. If you want to know more about what the Bible says, the dead are really dead. We'll send you a free study on this. You can actually go to a link online. We also have a website. It's called deathtruth.com. Learn what the Bible really says about these things. God bless.